Welcome back to the part two of our video, which we are going to cut and sew this beautiful gathered top with yoke. So now let's do the cutting of the fabric. This my material is on four, as you can see, I fold it into two. So to get the gather, I'm going to cut two of the measurement that I use to draft this pattern. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to cut these two. So I will come to the biggest measurement. The biggest measurement was the full length. That's the, the biggest horizontal measurement was the full length, which was 10.5. When I added my sewing allowance of two inches, it gives me 12, it gave me 12.5. So that is 12.5. So I will come to my fabric first. The folding part, this is the part that is on four. Can you see? I will place my pattern being shot and my center front matches with the folding. Can you see? I wanted to know the length of this. So I will take this white line. I will draw the line to be the length of my Can you see? So I will mark 12.5 on that line that I draw. This is where I have 12.5. I will go to the hemming part, this line, I will draw the 12.5 as well, starting from the folding. Then I will connect with my straight ruler. So this is one part of the fabric. So now we're going to go and place this again, starting from this line that I draw. The reason for this is for me to gather this part of the clothes so i'll make sure that my center front faces the center front as well so i'll place my center front on this line then i'm going to trace the shape out i don't know if you can see what i'm doing i'm tracing my pattern now So I'm going to cut that out. Can you see? So this is the damp part for the front. So I'll mark it if so that I will know. use this to cut my lining because I'm going to line this cloth. So let's go ahead and cut for the back. So I'm going to repeat the same process for cutting off the back pattern. So I'll measure the biggest measurement for my back pattern which is the hem line. So I'm going to mark I'm going to measure the hem This is 14.5. So I have 14.5 on my fabric. So this is where I have 14.5. I'll mark it up here again, 14.5, so that I can draw a straight line. I'll connect with my straight ruler to form a straight line. So after marking my 14.5, I'll place this the same way I did for the front. Since I've marked this with the zipper allowance when I measured it this way, this is the first pattern. So now I'm going to fold in my zipper allowance for the second part. Because I'm making use of only one zipper allowance. Can you see? Make sure it matches the hemline as well. Can you see? So now I'm go ahead and trace out this one. I'm following this white line. I'll trace out this other part. So I'll cut my fabric now. So 
So this is my bag or marking. The bag is going to be two because of the zipper. So I will slit it open. Now place this to get the zipper allowance right. Just for the shaping of the bag. Let's go ahead and cut the yoke. I'm going to pin down my yoke pattern to the fabric. So I'm going to at least keep quarter of an inch to join the yoke to the gather. So I've pinned down both the yoke. So I'm going to cut it now. I'll take off my pattern now. This is my bag. I will mark to know the right, the wrong side of the fabric. So I'll go ahead and cut lining for both front and back. Now let's work on the sleeve. What I will do is I need to grab my basic sleeve. As you can see, and my material is on four. I fold my material into two. So I want to cut for the both sleeve together. This is my basic sleeve. I just place my basic sleeve. Then I just decide to add 1.5 inch seam allowance. So I'll just go ahead and cut this my basic sleeve. Then I'll tell you what to do next. Go ahead and cut my lining. Then I will tell you the next thing to do. Done all the cutting. This is my sleeve. This is my front. This is my back with the lining. This is my back, the yoke and the lining. This is my front, the yoke and the lining. So now I will keep these ones aside. Let's work on the yoke. <clears throat> I'll go to my sewing machine. I will attach the lining to the yoke. I'll place it right side facing each other. I will turn the neckline. Then I will turn it over. I will press it. Join my side, my armhole. I'll do same for my back. Then I will bring it for you to see. So I've joined my lining to the main fabric. Can you see? I have turned the neckline and I have attached. I've turned the neckline with my lining. Then I have attached it for both the front panel and the two back panels. So I will keep the yoke now and work on the gathered part of the blouse. So for the gathered part of the blouse, I will go ahead and attach my lining to the main fabric for both the front and the back panels. So I will place my main fabric, then I will carry the lining right side facing each other. I will use half of an inch and join at the hemline, then I will turn it inside out and iron it. Then I will continue with the remaining part. Then I will bring it for you to see. So I've turned the damp part of the clothes with my lining. Can you see? This is the part that I will gather. I'm done for the both back panel and my front panel so I've attached the lining the next thing i will do now 
I'll keep the boot back panel and the back loop aside and work on the front first. So that is for the back. So what I will do now will be for me to grab my front yoke. I will measure, I believe you can see, I'll measure from here to here. What I have here is 24.5. 24.5. So I will go ahead and gather this other one. As I'm gathering it, I'll be measuring it. When I have 24.5, then I will stop. I will do same for my back panel. After that, I will bring it for you to see. So I have gathered the front. Can you see? This is my gathered front. So what I will do now will be for me to carry the front yoke. Make sure the center matches the center here. Then I will go ahead and join it. Right side, I will place the right side facing each other. I will attach the yoke to the gathered part. I will do same for the back. Then I will bring it for you to see. I finished joining the down part to the yoke. Can you see? This is my front panel. These are my two back panels. I've gathered the same. So what I will do next is for me to install my zip. Then I will tell you the next step. So I've installed my zipper. Can you see? I've installed my zipper. So the next thing will be for me to grab the front panel. Right side facing each other. Go to my sewing machine. I will join the both shoulders. Then I will bring it for you to see. I have finished joining the shoulders. Can you see? Can you see? I've joined both shoulders. So what I will do now will be for me to work on the sleeve before joining the side. So this is the sleeve. I have attached my lining to the sleeve already. Remember, the sleeve, we have a flare on the hand as well, a gathered flare on the hand as well. So I have cut a strip of fabric that I'll be using to gather for the flare at the damp part of the sleeve. So my sleeve, I, I want a sleeve of 15 inches. So I have here... 10.75. I will use half of an inch to join this part to my main fabric and I'll use 0.25 to join the gathered to this other part of the sleeve. So this one now is 10 inches after removing the joining. What I have here is 6 inches. So I'll use half of an inch to turn the damp part and we'll use half of an inch to join to this other one. So the measurement of this, how I got this one. I measured my sleeve and I have 16 inches so the 16 inches here I multiply it by 2 so this one is about 32 inches this one is 32 inches so I will use this one I will gather this one to this other end so now I will go to my sewing machine I have got the lining that I will use for this for this I'll go and attach the lining for the both sleeve I will gather it attach to the sleeve then I will bring it for you to see so I have gathered the hand. This is the hand. This is for the two sides. Can you see? So now I will go ahead and attach it to the main fabric. So I attach the hand. So I have notched the center of my hand. So I will carry the center and place on the joining, the shoulder joining. I'll go to my sewing machine. I will sew it. I will sew this and I will do the same to the other side then i will join my side seam then i will bring the final outcome of the dress this is the final outcome of our gathered top with yoke thank you so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe to our channel turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified when once i upload new sewing tutorial see you on our next video bye bye